Don't you just love it when you can take a great pattern and hack it to make it look different? Well, this is the Alice in Tent dress and I added a tiered ruffle onto the bottom. And you all, this hack is so super simple. So if you're a beginner sewist or if you've just never tried making your own double ruffle or a tiered ruffle, let me show you how to do it. I'm Mari with Mari Sews. Let's get into it. So first go ahead and grab the fabric that you're gonna use. I'm gonna use these strawberry <laughs> fabrics in pink and red. Both of these fabrics were donated by three little birds in the Washington DC area and they're offering a 15% discount for anyone who wants to shop for fabrics. And there is a special code for that. You can find the details in the description box below. So personally, whenever I'm adding on a tiered ruffle at the bottom of a dress, I typically like to go in at about one and a half to two times longer than the length of the bottom of the skirt or dress that I'm attaching the ruffle to. And I will make allowances for that just depending on how much fabric I have. So I decided that I'm going to add the tiered ruffles using these fabrics with this one getting attached to that blue. And I cut this as long as I possibly can. <laughs> you can see I even have the selvage edge there, <laughs> but that's okay because when it gets sewn up, that'll disappear. So I do have two different lengths here and each of these lengths are 43 inches. And to give you an idea of how much longer it is than this, it ends up being one and a half times the length from here to here, which is roughly what I have here. And that'll work out nicely. Now for the bottoms here that I'm going to be attaching onto the bottom of this red, I want this to be roughly one and a half times the length of this one. And I can go up to two times the length of that. But to tell you the truth, I didn't have enough fabric to even do the one and a half times. So that's okay. This bottom tier will just be gathered a little less. You can see that that's roughly one third of the total length of the ruffle. So just to kind of bring it home here, this is the dress and I'm going to attach this red ruffle directly on there. This is one and a half times the length of this. And this bottom ruffle, which is getting attached to this red ruffle right here, is one and a third times the length of this one. And that's just simply because I didn't have enough of this pink fabric. If I had, I would have done at least one and a half times the length of this. I am going to go ahead and attach the ends of my ruffle pieces so that I can sew them together. And I'm really just going to kind of end up with a couple of really long loops here. So I'm going to do both ends. Now put this one aside and because I like to move over to the sewing machine as little as possible, I'm going to pin everything at one time. So I'm going to take this little shorter piece and I'm going to add it here. open that up and I'm going to take my other, my second long piece, attach it to the end of that little short piece. And then I'm going to attach my two long pieces together at this end. So now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance 
back stitching at both ends each of these different pieces that I've pinned together so that I have two really long loops, one in red and one in pink. So now that I've got this sewn and my edges finished, I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and I'm going to press all of these down to one side. While I'm there, I also want to hem my bottom ruffle so that way I don't have to worry about it after it's already attached and gathered. So to hem it, I'm going to take it over to my ironing board, flip it over a quarter inch, and then flip it over another quarter inch, and I'm going to press that down, and then I'll go ahead and sew that at the sewing machine and come back here to you. So now that I've got this bottom ruffle hemmed, I am going to go ahead and put two rows of basting stitches up at the very top of my ruffle. So let's go put in our basting stitches. That way we can start to gather the top and pin it to our next piece. And if you're joining in for Project Dress Girl, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that way you know the next time that there's a new video because all month long I'm going to be sharing details about some of our content creators that I'm collaborating with who are going to be dropping videos and then we're also sharing a lot of tips and tricks so don't miss any of the information click the bell so that way you know the next time that there's a video so now that my pink tear is gathered I'm going to attach it to the bottom of my red ruffle here. So I'm just going to attach it right sides facing each other. I'm going to pin it and then I'm going to sew it down all the way around using a half inch seam allowance and I'm going to finish my edges and meet you back here. And so after you've attached and finished your ruffle, you're going to end up with one large ruffle that looks something like this. Now you can put your double basting stitches in on this top layer and then attach it to your dress. You all, this is such a fun way to hack a pattern that you already have to make it look a little different and what a really cool way to just kind of use some color blocking or maybe even mix and match some of the smaller pieces that you have in your stash to do some really fun creative work. Well, let me know if you're going to be adding tiered ruffles onto your Project Dress A Girl dresses this year. And you all know that we have content creators here on YouTube who are partnering with me to help spread the word about Project Dress A Girl 2022. And today you'll be able to catch Simply Delilah's right over here. So just click on that video if you're ready to move on over to her little beautiful dresses. Or if you missed the kickoff video, you can click right up there to get all of the details on this charity event.